Halo saudara, saya Tengku Fajri, hadir langsung dari Kiev Ukraina untuk mengetahui bagaimana sistem pendidikan selama operasi militer khusus antara Rusia dan Ukraina. Saat ini saya sudah berada di Igor Sikorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute bersama dengan Director of the Center for International Education, Mr. Sergei Molik. Mr. Sergei, thank you very much for your time. It's honor for us to have you here. Uh, and uh, from my side, I'm really happy uh, welcoming you in such a uh, difficult time for our country, in our university, Igor Sikorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute. Thank you. And then there is uh, some question between during this operation, especially military, and then during this war situation. Could you describe briefly history, mission and Jugev and vision about this uh, Igor Sikorsky KPI? Uh, well, uh, our university mission is uh, to assist uh, uh, just sustainable development of society uh, through uh, integration of uh, uh, education, uh, latest scientific researches and innovative development. Unfortunately, you see that uh, some countries uh, do not see themselves in future and they are trying to uh, put all others uh, in past. But uh, in our university, uh, we have our mission uh, that we need uh, to help and create a society of the future uh, based on the concept of uh, sustainable development. Uh, to be uh, the technical university of research type uh, of world level, providing the preparation of highly skilled uh, professional to the world market. Uh, and as for the current situation, uh, we see our uh, nearest and uh, extremely important steps is uh, to provide uh, safety uh, to our students and staff, uh, to still to provide uh, educational services uh, to our students, and uh, definitely to make uh, all possible efforts uh, to help our country to win this fight. Yes, and then we, if we're talking about the uh, safety and all of the things, now how many? international student in the KPI? Uh, before the beginning of uh, war actions uh, in our country in February 2022, we have uh, more than 600 international mm -hmm. students. Uh, definitely after the beginning of uh, this uh, invasion uh, of Russia to Ukraine in February, uh, mostly of them uh, came back uh, to their parents, uh, to the safe place outside our country. Uh, but still, we have now um, up to, I think, uh, 10, 15 uh, foreign, foreigners uh, staying here on campus. Uh, but uh, the educational process didn't stop and uh, they continue their studies uh, in, online, uh, in online mode. Okay, so if you're talking about from your opinion, uh, features, uh, what are the Nobel features or achievements progress of KPI that uh, distinguish it from others technical university in Ukraine? Uh, well, uh, Igor Skorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute is the biggest educational establishment in our country. Uh, it trains uh, more than 25,000 uh, of students and postgraduates. Uh, every six uh, student in uh, Kiev city is uh, obtaining education and KPI uh, Institute. Uh, every 25th professor uh, is working for KPI. So uh, I told you already about uh, the campus, uh, about uh, the staff, uh, and it's really a uh, small city in the Kiev city. Uh, interesting, interesting. It's like, can you describe what is the, how's the facility for the, this uh, university? Uh, so the campus uh, has all necessary facilities uh, for students, uh, for uh, staff. Uh, so we have our own uh, publishing house, we have our own uh, library, quite big one and uh, very powerful. Uh, we have uh, all type of uh, recreational activities like swimming pools, mm -hmm. sport grounds, etc. Uh, etc. Et and uh, it's not uh, mentioning uh, educational buildings, uh, faculties, uh, institute, research laboratories, uh, and all this stuff. 
So, so we are really big. Yeah, it's like really comfortable to studying in the KPI actually. Uh, it's true, but not in uh, not nowadays. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, our authorities uh, need to conserve uh, like uh, half or one third of uh, dormitories because we are lacking not only international students but also our local Ukrainian students uh, who are also either outside Ukraine or studying online uh, due to safety uh, reasons. Uh, but uh, in peaceful situation and uh, during the peacetime, um, uh, all the necessary facilities for students and staff are presented on campus here in our university. Well, I heard there is a third year in a row for the Igor Sikorsky KPI, the best technical university, and there is more than 60 countries was 60 country student who was studying in KPI. And then, how KPI could manage the achievement of such uh, indicators and what make the university are uh, attractive for the foreigners uh, student? Um, here are several uh, points which are important for uh, foreign students uh, uh, to pick up uh, our university for studying. Uh, so, uh, despite the fact that we are very big, uh, we are also very old. Uh, the institute was established in the 19th century. Uh, so, this year we are celebrating 125 years. Uh, of uh, our university working and uh, producing professionals uh, for technical industries, uh, not only for our country, but uh, for other countries in, in the world. Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, all uh, helicopters uh, started in our backyard. And there are also uh, a big number of other prominent uh, scientists uh, who were either studying or working uh, for uh, our university. Uh, for example, uh, uh, you definitely know about uh, these uh, chemical tables of uh, elements uh, made by Mendeleev. Uh, mm -hmm. Dmitry Mendeleev was uh, the head of enrollment uh, committee at our university. So that guy who invented this table uh, was uh, uh, picking up first uh, students uh, at uh, our university. Uh, Gagarin sent uh, to space, uh, the first uh, man in space, uh, the rocket uh, who pushed him up <clears throat> was made by the graduate of uh, our university. Uh, now, uh, so if we, uh, so this is history, yeah. now about nowadays. Uh, for example, uh, we are the only university in Ukraine uh, and uh, one of few in the world. Uh, uh, which have their own satellite in space. So now we are sitting here and uh, satellite uh, produced, made by the students and staff of our universities uh, are swinging around uh, Earth and making some uh, scientific researches uh, for for our university. Wow, wow, interesting. Is the, is the, you said before there is 600 international students. Uh, it's around 600 yeah. and then there is uh, more than 60 countries who was student who was studying in the KPI and then but unfortunately there is no one no Indonesian student well what's the reason um, uh, you know uh, we picked up our archive materials and uh, during uh, 60s uh, previous uh, century uh, there were several students from Indonesia uh, studying at uh, Igor Sikorsky uh, University and uh, in uh, already this uh, century, uh, 2000 uh, plus, uh, were one or two uh, students from Indonesia. And uh, I think the main reasons uh, for such small number of uh, your, uh, <laughs> uh, your students here is first, it's uh, a lack of information. Uh, about our country, uh, about our university, and about educational programs uh, which are provided by our institute. Uh, and uh, second, uh, a reasonable fact is uh, surely the distance between our countries. So it's quite far from uh, Kyiv to Jakarta, and uh, uh, it's quite difficult for a young uh, graduate, school graduate uh, to decide uh, to fly 
10,000 kilometers away from home to, to study. Uh, but I hope uh, uh, we couldn't uh, change uh, the second reason yeah. uh, and to, to make this distance smaller. But uh, definitely we can cope uh, with the first one and uh, to provide uh, inf more information about our university, about our country. And I hope that uh, uh, with your help and assistance, uh, uh, the interest of Indonesian uh, students uh, and uh, school graduates uh, will increase. And uh, if someone is looking for a career in space, a career in uh, mechanical engineering, in software, cybersecurity, or some other areas of expertise, which Igor Sikorsky K. Polytechnic Institute is uh, famous for, um, this number will increase. Wow, interesting. The, but how to attract Indonesian people, to Indonesian students to come here and then want to study about because space was this really about space thing. I was really, really interesting. Uh, I've studied uh, some information about education system in Indonesia. Uh, you are a very big country uh, in terms of population. You are a very young country in terms of... Uh, so uh, uh, you have a big number of uh, potential uh, students uh, for our university. And I hope and I think that uh, uh, we can provide uh, a welcoming uh, environment uh, for Indonesian students uh, for them to feel uh, not abroad, not far away from, uh, from their country, uh, but uh, to really uh, share uh, the spirit of Ukrainian culture, Ukrainian hospitality. We are famous for our hospitality. Uh, and uh, we provide uh, high quality education for a reasonable price. And uh, in 21st century, uh, the world is really globalized and uh, with all uh, uh, modern means of communications, uh, uh, students from Indonesia, uh, they're quite, uh, they may be quite close with uh, their uh, relatives, uh, with uh, their home friends uh, in uh, Indonesia. Uh, and uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, and this uh, spirit uh, of uh, innovations, of uh, modern, uh, modern researches, uh, which is famous uh, for our university, mm -hmm. we uh, can share and uh, we can provide uh, Indonesian students with uh, this uh, uh, spirit of uh, innovations of our university, a spirit of hospitality of our country and uh, to give uh, people from Indonesia uh, a real picture of what is going on in uh, this part of the world. Ah, interesting. But what is the specialty uh, education program KPI can provide, can propose for Indonesian nation? Uh, frankly speaking, we have uh, 14 faculties now, 10 research institutes, uh, a lot of uh, laboratories in different areas. Uh, so the number of educational programs is more than 300. Mm -hmm. Uh, the number of uh, English-speaking uh, educational programs is uh, more than 100. Uh, so it's uh, quite a long list, uh, and uh, it is mentioned on uh, the website of our university, on the website of our center. Uh, people and students who are interested in, they can uh, pick from the long list, but I will focus on uh, that uh, programs which are uh, peculiar only for our university. Uh, so, uh, I should mention here, uh, firstly and mainly, uh, everything concerning engineering. Mechanical engineering, space engineering, aviation engineering, mm -hmm. everything concerning that one. Because, again, it's our major, we are famous for engineering. Uh, then, as a uh, very big part of our um, uh, staff is working on informational technologies, uh, cybersecurity, software development, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, data science, and uh, this uh, this part. Uh, again, it's uh, KPI is number one in this in this area. Uh, then uh, definitely space and aviation. Uh, so we are number one in Ukraine and in on the top uh, in Europe. Uh, also, I should mention uh, our uh, educational programs in the sphere of uh, energy saving and development of uh, 
uh, sustainable societies uh, and everything concerning with energy management uh, and uh, uh, this area. And also I, I should mention uh, welding. Uh, we have a research institute of welding named after Yevgen Paton, uh, who actually invented uh, this technology and uh, everything concerning welding, starting from uh, these uh, rails for uh, railways and ending with uh, welding of uh, human tissue in, in the heart of human body. Wow. Well, that's interesting. So it's make like me also want to study in Ukraine and I'm going to stay. <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not a problem for you. Uh, we can share the uh, rules for admission and you can apply online. Oh. Uh, and you can even study online because uh, during, again, uh, the situation in our country, yeah. uh, our authorities uh, made a decision mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of uh, spring uh, last year mm -hmm. uh, that we provide uh, educational services online. Okay, that's interesting because during this significant situation, like I'm going to ask him about the, how the Institute of KPI and then how, the, how it's going on, I mean, how it's... Uh, running because there is some place who doesn't have the really electronic mm -hmm. I mean like really electronic and then and then there is some place who doesn't have the uh, energy system who was working out during this time so how is uh, KPI provide all of the things? Um, uh, actually um, uh, this is a biggest problem now uh, in Kyiv so it's lack of uh, energy lack of uh, internet uh, but we are a technical university and uh, uh, we managed to supply uh, with uh, generators uh, who are uh, that are uh, providing, uh, in terms of blackouts, uh, providing electricity for uh, crucial infrastructure in, the, in our university. So, uh, major majority of uh, sites uh, and uh, educational instruments are moved uh, to the cloud, and uh, we do uh, we do not depend on electricity on site. And uh, our uh, teaching staff uh, is uh, also quite. Uh, uh, mobile, uh, using laptops, uh, phones, uh, and working from home, uh, working from abroad, uh, but still providing uh, the same educational services for students. And on the other hand, uh, students also, uh, they are using uh, laptops, uh, yeah. ta tablets, uh, phones, etc., etc., and uh, they can uh, uh, have all these educational services online. So it's more quite easy for Indonesia to be studying in uh, this university? Uh, both uh, applying and studying, it is possible uh, to do it uh, uh, online now. But uh, again, uh, uh, having in mind the spirit of hospitality, we believe that uh, this year is going to be online. But we hope that next year uh, we will open uh, <laughs> uh, for foreign students uh, on site and we can uh, provide the whole range of uh, educational services including swimming pools etc etc to our uh, international students. So it's really like quite interesting to international to come here and then study in Igor Korsky uh, KPI University and then it's make the Indonesian should be uh, can come and then it's really easy to apply and all of the things and then can I ask about the uh, price and everything it's like it's a kind of the, the payment for the institute also uh, it depends on uh, uh, educational program it depends on faculty but in general uh, it varies uh, from uh, two thousand uh, dollars US uh, per uh, semester mm -hmm. to uh, uh, 380 uh, 3,800 uh, US uh, per, uh, per semester. It's uh, for bachelor, uh, for, uh, for master it's uh, a bit more and uh, the maximum is for PhD studies it's uh, 4,000 uh, $4, so, uh, But yeah. I, I should underline and emphasize uh, we are looking uh, only for uh, high quality students uh, because uh, 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 despite uh, either he uh, pays uh, for education or no, uh, we have quite strict uh, teachers uh, who are examining uh, the level of knowledge and uh, we are the university uh, which is 
looking for uh, like top, the top yeah student mm, and uh, it's uh, all international students in Ukraine uh, know that uh, studying in KPI is uh, really hard, mm -hmm. uh, but when you uh, graduate, uh, the uh, diploma value is uh, much more bigger than in comparison to other Ukrainian universities. So it's going to be easy to apply anywhere around the world? Uh, at least in Europe. Uh, yeah. So we, we have uh, Ukraine as an associate member of European Union and uh, our educational programs uh, coincide uh, with uh, European educational programs and uh, uh, the diploma of Ukrainian universities are uh, like uh, valued and uh, it is possible to work uh, with this diploma in Europe. Ah, interesting. So just tell me about the unique project and some example of successful startup in, for the KPI. Ah, so you've heard about uh, yeah. Igor Sikorsky challenge. Uh, yeah, it's a very nice initiative uh, uh, started in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the idea of our rector, uh, Mr. Zgrovsky, uh, to um, uh, find uh, this uh, uh, implementation of uh, this spirit of innovation in some real projects. And uh, this uh, Sikorsky challenge uh, ch uh, was initiated. Uh, uh, I am happy to uh, be in the jury uh, of uh, this uh, contest uh, starting from the first year. So it's uh, for uh, 11 years already. Uh, each year um, university uh, announced uh, this uh, contest and uh, um, students of our universities or other Ukrainian universities or even not Ukrainian universities, uh, they provide and apply for uh, grants or some mentor support uh, on this contest. Uh, they had uh, different areas, like for example, Agro, it's uh, one section, uh, space and uh, defense is another section. And uh, uh, But every year it's more than 100 uh, uh, applicants uh, for uh, this uh, contest uh, is. And uh, um, the jury uh, picks up the most interesting. Uh, I, I would like to, if we have time, I would like to give you just a short uh, example of how a student uh, startup uh, can be converted into successful business. Uh, in 2013, I think, so it's even before uh, the first stage of Russian-Ukrainian war, uh, the student of our university came uh, to this contest uh, with the idea of making a uh, drone, wow. spectator drone. It was just a small uh, like made uh, by uh, one person, uh, uh, but uh, it was a good idea on that. Yeah. Uh, then uh, he won the contest, uh, this Korsky challenge. Uh, they get some, uh, he gets some money for developing uh, his drone. Mm -hmm. uh, he developed it, made it more uh, like uh, more real. Wow. Uh, he found, uh, next he found uh, the company who provided him with f financing to make a pilot uh, like 10, 10 of these drones. Uh, he made it, tested, approved that uh, this is really nice drones. Uh, then again, he applied on Sikorsky challenge, uh, uh, not with a prototype. So first stage, he was asking money for a prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, he got that money, made his prototype and he sold uh, this prototype. Uh, to a uh, governmental company uh, that were uh, doing business in uh, military affairs, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he managed uh, to make this uh, uh, prototype into small series, uh, made a small series, uh, started uh, 2014, started uh, uh, the war actions in the east of our country. Mm -hmm. uh, he tested it there. And in uh, two or three years, uh, he put it into series for our Ministry of uh, Defense. So just in uh, 10 years, uh, the idea of one student uh, realized in really working uh, drones, uh, working for our Ministry of Defense. Wow, that's amazing because, because there is a lot of uh, drone everywhere. And then this is a uh, drone is especially is really happening in Indonesia now. 
So they, it's quite interesting for Indonesian students who want to study and then who want to build their own uh, drone. So they should come to the KPI. So it's really interesting. And then how would you uh, outline the future of uh, Prospect at KPI? Mm, difficult question. <laughs> um, uh, I should say that uh, uh, the future, we see the future uh, safe, bright and sustainable. And uh, we here are making uh, all efforts from our side uh, to uh, grow these uh, students, uh, school graduates, uh, we are the whole stages like bachelor, master and uh, PhD student and to scientists or to businessmen uh, for them uh, to share our vision, our ideas of a sustainable future to be. Wow. Well, we hope that's uh, going to really happening. And then uh, your message to knock Indonesian student to come here and then study here, it's really important. So. Uh, I think that uh, with your help uh, we can make uh, this uh, knocking at the door uh, and uh, to promote uh, much more uh, areas, much more interesting stories, uh, success stories, uh, again, um, a huge uh, theoretical background in various uh, technical and engineering industries. Uh, and uh, we uh, are open to the world, so we are open to Indonesia, Indonesia students. Uh, uh, we would like to share <clears throat> our um, skills, uh, our expertise uh, for them to, uh, to get this information, to get this knowledge and uh, to spread it uh, all over the world in any area uh, which they pick up to develop further. Uh, so, um, again, the scope of information is uh, really huge and we are welcome uh, all potential uh, uh, students uh, that are interested in uh, uh, modern technologies, uh, that are interested in uh, Europe as a part of the world, uh, which are interested in Ukraine and as a part of uh, this Europe. Uh, and we in the Center for International Education, we are ready to uh, support, uh, to give uh, this uh, uh, in-person uh, engagement into all these processes and uh, to guide uh, these uh, students uh, to the uh, achievements and goals uh, they put for themselves in their life. And again, uh, uh, we are in 21st century, the world is very small. And uh, despite uh, such a huge uh, geographical distance between our countries, I think we can uh, find uh, areas of potential cooperation uh, which are uh, close uh, to both our nations and to both our countries. Wow, thank you very much actually. This is a, it's a really huge mission and then, and then I hope the Indonesian student will come here and then study and then bring back the education to Indonesia and then help the countries also. Uh, like for the technical and then all of the things like to Indonesia and to our country to help the Indonesian. We hope so. Thank you very much by the way director of the Center for International Education Mr. Sergei Maulik so for the interview and all of the things so this I'm gonna bring the message to Indonesia and then I hope there is a good relationship between the bilateral Indonesia and Ukraine still happening until now it's almost 31st year so we hope this still really good thank you very much uh, and uh, it was a pleasure for me speaking to you and uh, i hope that uh, uh, either indonesian students or yourself personally can apply for uh, online admission to our university and we can provide you with uh, knowledge expertise and everything we can uh, share with the world dan sore itulah dia tadi perbincangan kita bersama dengan Director of the Center for International Education, Mr. Sergei Maulik, di Igor Sikorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute terkait dengan bagaimana edukasi saat ini yang berjalan selama operasi militer khusus Rusia dan Ukraina, dan juga bagaimana menarik minat mahasiswa ataupun juga minat uh, pelajar di Indonesia untuk bergabung di Igor Sikorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute.